Draymond, it's been 512 games since you came off the bench. What was that like for you? Um, it was great. It was fun. I'm not going to give much in this interview. I'm just going to let y'all know that now. Um, as someone who now works on y'all side of things, I, I understand um, the job. And I'm all for the job. As, which is why I will give quotes and I expand on my answers. Um, I make myself available because I understand how this thing works. You know, um, we play, you write, you speak, and it grows the game. And due to that, you know, because of that, we are all one. I don't know if people understand that or not. Uh, but my job don't work without y'all and y'all job don't work without mine. Uh, that's just how this goes. When we were shut down, we all were shut down. And so integrity is important. It's very important. And when you assume shit and you try to uh, put things out there to cause controversy and to um, essentially make other people look bad, it's ridiculous. We have children. Uh, we have family. I have a mother. I have a father. I have grandparents. Um, and so when you do things and, and you try to make your, give your story an extra boost, uh, re just remember, we work together. And it's not always like that. So as a man of my word, I'm not going to give much today. If anyone wants to talk to me outside of here, I'm all for it. Um, but I'm not giving much today because I'm not sure that I can trust what my words are going to go from here. Because the integrity of this job is extremely important. So uh, who I do want to talk about is Rick Celebrini. Uh, he's been lockstep with me the entire uh, 11 weeks that I've missed. Um, I felt incredible tonight and probably 90 percent of that is due to the to the things that he had me doing uh to him staying on me to him having me extra sets of this extra sets of that when i'm tired pushing me um and so i am very thankful uh for rick um because he's been incredible and uh the relationship that we've built over the course of the last 11 weeks is one that will last for the rest of my life. Um, we had one terrible day where I was like an hour and 15 minutes late. And and he told me, man, I, I, I my daughter's going to be late for her tennis lesson. And that was kind of the worst day of rehab we had. And I corrected that. And he was there for me the entire way. So I'm very thankful um, for Rick and his expertise and him getting me back strong and ready to play. Um, 11 weeks ago, I could barely walk. Couldn't lift up on my toes. About four weeks ago, I had the gimpiest run you've ever seen. Uh, it was disgusting. Uh, about two and a half weeks ago, I couldn't dunk a basketball. And he stayed with me the entire way got me back strong. And so I'm very thankful for Rick and his family. Uh, I understand what the rehab process does to a family because it just pulls you away. Right? You're talking five or six hours, seven hours of rehabbing and just in here. And then, you know, I spent the rest of my time laying down on the couch because I couldn't sit. So I am... Uh, extremely thankful for him and everything that he's went through with me, his family, and the sacrifices that they made with all the time that he spent with me. Um, in his all-star break where he should have been with his family the whole time, he went with me and my family and spent the week with us. And so I don't take that for granted. Uh, it's the people behind the scenes that nobody sees that deserves all the credit. And for me tonight and moving forward, it's Rick, uh, just the place he got back from me. So if anybody else have any questions, I'll gladly answer them, but I'm not going to answer the rest right here.